Hi, it's Rodney Wirtz here. What I'd like to do with this video is walk you through how to delete a MySQL database, take the data from the database, and install a Maria database and put the data from the MySQL data into Maria, MariaDB. So let's uh, try that. First thing let's do is open up Navicap and see if MySQL database is running on this computer. We'll open it up. Indeed, it's there. My database is there with some tables. So yes, indeed, it's running. So we'll close the connection. And now let's delete MySQL. Uh, to do that, we need to open up a DOS box. So we'll open up a DOS box. And we'll type in net stop MySQL. And now we're going to stop the service so that we can delete the program. So the service is now stopped. And let's delete MySQL. It's right here. And remove MySQL. All done. Gone. So let's double check that it is gone. So we'll open up MySQL. We'll open up Navicat again, pardon me. And then we'll try to open up the database and it fails. It says the service isn't there, the MySQL is not running anymore there. So then our next job now is to install MariaDB. I happen to have a file up here where I've put the installation program for MariaDB. You can download the installation program for MariaDB from maria.org website. So we'll start it up. Read the license agreement and accept it. Then we come to a screen where we have some choices of the components that we'd like to install. Uh, I install everything except the development components. Since I'm not actually going to be developing anything in the database per se, then I just won't install any of the development components. But everything else we'll install. We use the default. We'll go next. Now we have to give a pass a root password. And I'll use the same one that I used for MySQL. And I usually do not check the enable root access from remote machines. I always allow only root access from the the machine that the program is running on. And I do not create an anonymous account. Now I keep the service name MySQL uh, for there are a number of commands that you can use uh, against the service and if you keep it MySQL then it's easy to remember. I keep the port the same 3306 but I uncheck the optimization for transactions for I don't use transactions in my databases I use my ism databases for speed and non-transactional activity they have another box here they want to know if you want to send feedback to MariaDB I usually do not check that and we can install the database now finished. One of the nice features of MariaDB is it installs a database maintenance program for you. And it's called Heidi SQL and it's this icon that will be installed on your desktop and you're welcome to go ahead and, and use that maintenance program. It's a nice program, works very well, but of course I'm uh, accustomed to MySQL. Now, uh, Navicat, pardon me. Now, we'll open up Navicat again and see if we can connect to the running MariaDB. I use the same uh, root access. The root username is root and uh, the same password. So we should be able to open up now MariaDB. So yes, indeed, it does open up. You notice that the configuration database is still has the same name, MySQL, even though it's MariaDB. They add another information schema database. I haven't read up on that, so I can't tell you much about it. But the bottom line is it did open up. The only thing we're missing right here is the database that we had in MySQL. So let's see about getting that database and putting it into MariaDB. 
we go back to the MySQL subdirectory in our program under program files, program files, MySQL. Here's the server that I was using and here's the data. And always the database will always be under a subfolder under the server name in a folder called data. So here's the database, my database. And let's copy that now to the Maria database. So if we come down C drive program files down to Maria, open that up, we find a similar folder called data. If we open that up, we find there's the MySQL and tests, the same two databases that MySQL installs. But let's copy our database there. So it now should be there. Let's go up and double check. And you can see that it's there now. Here's my database. So in order to for the server to see the database, I have to stop the service and restart it. So let's stop MariaDB. So it'd be net stop and I call the service MySQL same name and the service is stop now let's start it again and it'll read the databases when it starts up so net start MySQL and it started up the service successfully we'll exit out of our DOS box minimize this and we'll open up Navicat again and now under this computer we should see our database and there it is there's the database with all of our data in it unaffected so what we've done now is we've taken uh, MySQL and we've uninstalled it off of this computer we've installed MariaDB and we've moved the database files from MySQL subfolder into the MariaDB subfolder, stopped service, restarted the service, and our databases were all intact. So thank you very much for watching.